But I know in many respects we're preaching uh, to the choir here. But as the Sisters of Notre Dame would remind me, it's the choir that leads the singing. And you heard uh, from both Jan and Doris and Henry, and I know you're going to hear from Mark and Susan Davis was here as well, and other speakers, about why this is so vitally uh, important uh, for us to spread uh, the word, in large part because of the number of the myths that exist out there. But beyond myths, there is a specific, targeted, focused, agenda on the other side. Now, I call them the bathtub Republicans. You may have heard of Grover Norquist, whose belief is that we should shrink government up so small we can drown it in the bathtub. And they have set out to do that. Shrink government up so small they can drown it in a bathtub at a time in this economy when people are already drowning under a mountain of debt, debt that kids have incurred through paying for their education, homes that are underwater, the basic tenements of government call for us to make sure that we provide for security for our citizens. And that's what Franklin Delano Roosevelt did with Social Security, what Lyndon Baines Johnson did with Medicare, and Medicaid, and what Barack Obama has done with the Affordable Health Care Act. How is it that initiatives that protect the people are under siege? Washington warned us what could happen. He said in his farewell address that when you have parties within government that are, are at war, at war, with their own government, then what they do is tear down the very foundations of what make us the greatest nation in the world. We need to make sure that we push back and make sure that we carry forward the grand traditions that have made us the great nation that we are by making sure that those fundamental rights, fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and health and the well-being of this nation are protected. That is why we enter into a compact with government so that we provide for one another. The great opportunities will exist when calamities befall any of us in this great nation. Roosevelt said it, what the nation needs is the warm courage of national unity. We live in a time where people are saying, why can't the Congress respond to the dark abyss of uncertainty that we have been plunged into? We need to make sure that our people understand that we will fight for the safety net that exists there for them that will be there for them to make sure that it sees them through. I'm proud to stand with Jan and Doris and all the members who have come down here today to celebrate this 47th birthday and re-pledge our efforts to make sure that this country remains safe and secure and provides for its citizens all that you have worked for and paid for and deserve as being part of the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Thank you so much for joining us here today, and happy birthday, Medicare.